Hey, hey, poker people. Thank you very much for spending some of your study time with me today. I really do appreciate it. So, on YouTube, in a prior video, Jeff Free Daniels right here left me a question. He said, how can I review my play in a tournament from start to finish? I see how to look at each hand one at a time, but not sure how to play every hand. Well, Jeffrey, there are two ways that you can do this. The first way is to use game tape. So get a program like OBS or Camtasia or Bandicam, whatever kind of program to record your screen. Go ahead and play your tournament recording from the very beginning until the end. Who knows? It could be a 30 minute, it could be a three hour video whatever and then at some point you're going to go back maybe the next day maybe a couple days later go back and watch it from the very beginning watch your play see if you made any mistakes look at the different spots you were in see if you missed steal opportunities or re-steal opportunities or re-jam opportunities whatever it is go through watch the game tape and learn from your mistakes hopefully within the game tape you're also speaking through your actions so that it's or and hopefully it's recording your voice not just the gameplay so that you could hear yourself think through your actions to see if you maybe catch any uh, missteps in logic or just bad decisions made and maybe verbalizing incorrect information whatever it is re-watch that game tape to learn from any mistakes that you made and learn from your opponents as well or the second thing you could do is use poker tracker 4 and i'm going to show you how to do that right now so the first thing that you're going to do is group it by tournament you could group it by tournament description buy-in uh, position starting hands even but just keep it by tournament when you group it that way you'll see all the tournaments listed just individually one by one with all the different stats and details money won hands played all that jazz right here you're also going to select your date range you can see this year i've only played 11 tournaments it's just not much at all i will be upping my tournament game soon especially because i'm going to the wsop and i'm going to be uh playing in some live events so i need to get some practice in now so i'll be upping this really soon uh, and the next thing you do is choose the tournament to review so you can see a lot of these 48 120 hands this one looks like a good one i actually won some money four dollar buy-in uh 22 payout or i guess with adding the four bucks 26 dollar payout got third place in this small tournament right here 225 hands so when you do this you're going to see all of the uh all the hands are going to be listed here you're going to want to make sure that it is sorted by date with the earliest hand played up top right here so you can see you know 248 249 p.m the times go when you just right click and hit replay all hands in report it starts with that queen five offsuit the very next hand is a three nine offsuit and then the four deuce offsuit this way i can go through or you can go through as well hand by hand to see how you played how you responded to the different situations as the tournament progressed so this is the number one way just to go through the hands one by one to see every hand played within the tourney and actually to tell you the truth we play 225 hands this only shows the most recent 100 so let's change it to 500 hands now all 225 are here and it looks like the very first hand was the king seven suited ah so the, right when we sat down to the table dealt 3,000 chips we were actually heads up before other players came in not too shabby right there ended up folding on that very first hand so that's how you're going to review hand by hand right here so sort by date from the earliest up top like i showed you and now now that you have the tournament selected and you've gone through it one time already to see what mistakes you made and where you could have played better what you want to do now is use the filters for more detail so let's say maybe you are working on your 0 to 15 big blind game pot size and stack depth pre-flop you had between 0 and 15 bbs turn that filter on actual stack size between 0 and 15 save and apply so out of the 225 hands uh, it looks like we only had two hands out of the 225 we only had two hands are you serious chip stack zero to f oh look at that 46 36 it looks like i went up in chips big time never had below I guess there's 17 big blinds right here, 18. How interesting. In this tournament, 225 hands. I, wow, I didn't go below 15 big blinds except for maybe somewhere right here. Oh, and this is this is uh, estimating. Uh, this is rounding, actually. It might be like 15.2, so it didn't show up. 
So I only had two hands. Well, I mean, that's how you could look at your different big blinds. What about you want to see your holdings right here? Let's see. Maybe you want to know how well you do in the tournament and how you respond with like suited connectors. Out of the 225 hands, we were dealt suited connectors uh, only four times. Wow, not much at all. How interesting. Yeah, so we can go through these hands and see. We can see that overall, I'm a winner with these hands. That doesn't really mean much. It's a tournament. you got to go through hand by hand to really see what's going on. Nice. We open it up here. Get a collar, flop the gutter, throw out the c-bet, ace, we say, hey buddy, we're not scared of you, we don't think you have an ace, and he folds. Lovely, took it down. So that's how you can look at your different holdings. What about positions now? What if you've been having a hard time lately of uh, playing out of the blinds, for example? Actions and opportunities, pre-flop. Um, let's just click post it any, no, not any blind or ante, because that's any position right there. Uh, let's go to post of the small. Uh, let's just look at post of the small blind. Add that to filter. So now out of the 225 hands that we were dealt, we saw the small blind 57 times right here. And so we can go through, take a look at all of our, uh, all of our small blind play. What we can also do is look at three bet opportunities which uh, in tournaments, you know, we should have plenty of chances to three bet re-steal or three bet re-jam or just three bet over wide uh, wide ranges, that kind of a thing. So let's look at three bet opportunities pre-flop. So three bet opportunity facing a two bet. 225 hands, we could have three bet 67 times. So a little over a quarter of the time, uh, we're facing some kind of a raise pre-flop, whatever position that we're in. And then you can go through and start looking through these hands, uh, figuring out, hey, where did I make the most chips in a three bet opportunity? And where did I lose the most? Oh, lost the most with jacks. Just called. Maybe I'm slow playing. 36, 24, 37. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just slow playing right here. Hoping to get some good uh, flop action. Got the over pair. Probably hoping to check raise. I don't remember this tournament. I'm hoping I'm checking. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm planning on check raising. Ace comes, so I'm probably slowing down, waiting for him to bet. He didn't bet. Ace is on the board. I might as well bet to try to um, uh, just get some value out of an eight that might call or out of a king high hand that doesn't believe we have anything because we played passively. And he just calls. Uh, Ace five. Yeah, we just lost a few big blinds. Not too much there. Looks like a lot of chips, but it's only a few big blinds lost. And the biggest winner was a jack high flush hand. We had the opportunity to three bet. Oh, looks like the guy, yeah, he just jammed his full his full uh, 11 big blind stack in. We fold, and then we rejam just to ISO. I mean, we could have called, let him come in and just called. That might have been a better play, just call. He jams to think we're going to fold. Although, if we called, we don't. We have less than 4,000 behind. We're not folding, so it wasn't going to work. Rejam to make him think we're bluffing or weak and just want to isolate. But, hey, turn the flush right there. Lovely. So that is three bet opportunities. What about the ever popular thing to look into is your steal opportunities. So pre-flop, we always, not always, we often have that chance to steal. So out of 225 hands, we only had one chance to steal. Oh, no, wait, it switched. Oh, maybe I clicked on something. It switched. So 109 chances to steal out of 225. So we can go through and take a look at all these steal opportunities and see what happened. I mean, we had a chance to steal with a 10-3 suited. Why didn't we do it? 8-4 suited. Well, there's a good reason. 8-4 suited. 10-9 offsuit. Why didn't we steal here? I think we should have right there. 37 big blinds versus 50 and 42. Yep. This was an opportunity to steal. We would have stolen and folded to his re-raise. So be it. But still, 10-9 offsuit is good enough three-handed to be stealing at least. Yep, yep, yep. So that's a steal opportunity. What about a re-steal opportunity? Because in tournaments, we're often in the blinds, of course, with somewhere less than 20 big blinds. It's a great spot to three-bet re-steal over wide openers. So how do we look for three-bet re-steal opportunities? Well, pre-flop pre -flop opportunity is... Um, Facing a steal attempt, let's say we're facing a steal attempt in the big blind right here. Um, 
and then we have that opportunity to three bet. In the big blind, opportunity three bet facing a two bet steal. Uh, same tournament, good. Oh, we had 23 opportunities. So if we take a look here, um, how come I didn't re-steal with the King Jack? Pretty aggressive player. Oh, just a 3x. But you know, I think with that King Blocker, I could have re-stolen here. And I just folded instead. I mean, I think that probably deserves a call or a 3-bet. It's not a great hand, but it is most likely ahead of his pretty wide, most likely wide, button stealing range. So I do like a 3-bet here. Um, just to even like up to 7, 7.5 big blinds. I think players and tournaments often fold to bet sizings like that. Yep, yep. Alrighty. Well, once again, Jeff, uh, thank you very much for sending this question in. I hope this video helps you out in uh, going through and um, researching your, uh, your tournaments one by one. Alrighty. Thank you very much, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next vid.